Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about encoder. We are going to see what is an encoder is and we are going to see the encoder circuit diagram for the different types of conversions available. So first we are going to see what is an encoder is. The process of converting signals from one type to another type is called encoding. So you are going to connect, uh, you are going to convert the signals of one type to another type. So you call it as encoding. And here you got decimal to binary uh, encoder as well as uh, hexadecimal to binary encoder. So that means you are from other uh, numbers, you are going to convert it to binary. The logical circuit which performs this very job is called as encoder. So the logic circuit which is rep uh, representing this conversion, you call it as the uh, encoder. Now first you are going to see about decimal to binary encoder. So this encoder converts decimal numbers to equivalent binary numbers. So here you are going to have some decimal numbers, you are going to convert it to uh, its equivalent binary numbers. If you want to convert numbers 0 to 9 that is 10 numbers into binary then number of output line for the encoder will be 4. So we should know how to decide how many output lines are available. So we are going to see that the method to determine number of output line is as follows. 2 to the power n must be greater than or equal to i where i represents the total number to be encoded. So you should know how many output lines uh, uh, to be used. So you should use this formula 2 to the power n. It should be greater than or equal to i. So what is i is nothing but the total number of uh, number to be encoded. So what is the total number here is i is 10 as 0 to 9 are to be converted because it is decimal number. So it will be 0 to 9 that means totally 10 numbers that is the i value. So 2 to the power n greater than or equal to 10 to make it prove n must be 4 that means 2 to the power 4 is 16 which is greater than 10. So that is true. If you put 2 to the power 3, the value you are going to get is 8 which is not, not greater than 10. So you cannot use 3. So that is the reason uh, the number of output line is 4. Okay. So now you are going to see the circuit diagram for decimal to binary encoder. So this is the circuit diagram. You can see left hand side, you can see the decimal values from 0 to 9. Then this is the push button which will supply the signal to the circuit. And then you got four output lines, right? F0 to F3. So F0, F1, F2 and F3 are the output uh, lines which is nothing but the OR gate. Okay. And you got the uh, input lines which will be connecting. So when you see for the first time, it will be confusing. So we are going to decode it. You are going to, that means you are going to explain you step by step how to draw this uh, circuit diagram. So here we are drawn the normal uh, graph line where you have the numbers from left to uh, left. We got uh, 0 to 9. So 9 lines has to be drawn and then 4 outputs has to be drawn from F0 to F3. Okay, start from the right. You can uh, number it from 0 to uh, 3. Okay, that will be 4 totally. And here this is just to explain you uh, how to draw the lines. So uh, you can see the first line decimal value 0. The equivalent binary value for 0 is 0 itself. So you are not going to draw any uh, input lines for the first. That is first line. Now the next line is uh, you have the decimal value 1. The binary equivalent for decimal value 1 is 0001 0, 0, 0, 1 because you got 4 digits. Okay, so you are going to represent four numbers. So the final value will be one. Now, wherever you have one, you are going to draw the input line. So for F0, you got one. For F3, F2 and F1, you got zero. So you're not going to draw anything. For F0, you are going got one. So you're going to draw one line for F0, which is connecting F0. Okay, now the number two, decimal value two, uh, the binary equivalent is 0, 0, 1, 0. So you are going to draw an input line for F1. So this is F1. So you can see that an input line has been drawn. For 3, decimal value 3, you have the uh, binary equivalent is 0, 0, 1, 1. So you are going to draw two lines, one for F1 and one for F0. So here you got F1 and F0 which will be connected. So two lines will be drawn. You can see that it has been drawn uh, that is uh, in straight line of 3. 
so the number which is representing 3 that line that line should be connected to the output then next is next line is 4 decimal value is 4 this line now for that it is uh, binary value is 0 1 0 0 so f2 will uh, is having 1 here remaining it is 0 so f2 is connected with a leg right that is uh, input line now for 5 if it is 0 1 0 1 so that means f2 and f0 is will be connected so f2 and f0 will be connected from this line so you got be connected and for uh, number 6 decimal number 6 the binary value is 0 1 1 0 so you are going to connect f2 and f1 ok here you can see f2 and f1 is connected with two lines and for 7 seventh line you got uh, the binary equivalent for 7 is 0 1 1 1 so you are going to connect all the three f2 f1 and f0 with the input lines and then you got 8 that is a binary value equivalent for 8 is 1 0 0 0 so only f3 got 1 so that will be connected from this line and the last line is 9 you got uh, the binary equivalent is 1 0 0 1 so you have got uh, two input line one, one is for f3 and one is for f0 so f3 and f0 will be connected okay so once you connect it your circuit diagram is ready for decimal to binary encoder okay this is how you're going to draw the circuit diagram for the decimal to binary encoder next is you're going to see the circuit diagram for hexadecimal to binary encoder it is similar to the same uh, decimal to binary only thing is you have to draw 16 lines here that because it has 16 numbers so 0 to f because 0 to 9 beyond that you got a b c d we already seen uh, what is the hexadecimal number is so you got 16 numbers again you can see that uh, formula 2 to the power n greater than or equal to 16 so if it is 4 it is exactly equal to 16 so it's, it is not greater than but it is equal to 16 so you can take 4 output okay signal so you got 4 output gate here so you got all the uh, 4 or, or gates so it will be the number will be the same f3 f0 to f3 now you are going to see how to draw this similar 1 to 9 you already done in uh, binary that is decimal to binary encoder itself so you are going to see the first line does not have any legs because you got uh, 4 zeros for 1 it is 0, 0, 0, 0001 so the first that is the f0 will have one uh, input line and the next one is 0, 0, 0010 0, so f1 will have one input line 0, 0, 0011 1 for 3 so this line will have uh, one input line from f1 and uh, then f0 so two input lines here and then for 4 it is 0 uh, 1 0 0 so you will have the input line uh, for f2 and then remaining is uh, nothing right you don't have any other input line for f5 that is for 5 it is uh, 0 1 0 1 so it will be f2 and f0 will have the input line and next will be 7 okay so for 7 it is 0 1 1 1 so you got three input lines okay for f2 f1 and f3 uh, f0 and then you got uh, for 8 1 0 0 0 so you will have the input line for f3 and then for uh, 9 it is 1 0 0 1 so the input line will be for f3 and f0 okay still doubt uh, we already seen in uh, decimal to binary conversion remaining is uh, you have to just continue the remaining part that is for 10 for 10 it is 1 0 1 0 so you will have f3 and f1 will be connected with the input line and for 11 it is 1 0 1 1 so it will be f3 uh, f1 and f0 will be connected with the input lines next will be 1 1 0 0 so that will be connected that is f3 and f2 is connected uh, to the output signal and then you got the uh, next value 1 1 0 1 so that will be connected so f3 f2 and f0 is connected and for 14 it is uh, 1 1 1 0 so you can see f3 f2 and f1 is connected and finally for 15 it is 1 1 1 1 so all the uh, input line is connected that is input line is connected to all the output uh, gates okay so this is how you are going to draw the circuit diagram for hexadecimal uh, hexadecimal to binary encoder so this is the circuit diagram in board exam they may ask you any one okay so it is very simple to draw once you know the uh, binary equivalent for the decimal or hexadecimal numbers it is very easy to draw so you can attend this question okay hope you understood this video and we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you